Half the people in America find warmth, inspiration, and friendship by filling our houses of worship. Some say the cup is half empty. We say it's half full. And if everyone invites just one friend to worship with them this weekend, we'll be able to say, our cup runneth over. A message from this station, your local congregation, and religion in American life. You have just seen a TV ad that is available free of charge in your area. In a few minutes, you'll see another ad that is designed especially for the young adults in your community. At the end of this video, you'll be able to hear radio messages that use humor to help support your Invite a Friend campaign. I'm Nick Van Dyke. And I'd like you to see how one congregation used the questions and suggestions in the Action Guide to get ready for their Invite a Friend Sunday. Welcome to the Invite a Friend Project. Bienvenidos al proyecto de invitar a una amistad. I am Karen Hernandez Granson, pastor of Westminster Presbyterian Church, and we have really had a great time getting ready to invite friends, inviting friends, enjoying our Invite a Friend Sunday, and of course, enjoying inviting and getting to know new friends. Here's some of what happened. In your hands are some questions that will start conversations about our congregation. These will help each of you decide if you would like to invite a friend or two to come and be a part of Westminster's church family. Why did I first visit this congregation? I first made me visit the church was on, I was working on this helping out with the summer program and the youth asked me to come and visit the church and I have been coming to church ever since. Why am I still a member? I'm still a member of this church because I, I can still remember the first day that I um, entered this church. I was warmly received my son and I. Being a single parent, that's very um, important to me. We were warmly received, not only by the shaking of hands, but also by the hugs. Also, um, I had also filled out our response form, and I had checked I was not a member. And what was very interesting about that, I got a follow-up on this. Um, Lucille Sullivan. She called me a few days after service and asked if she um, could come and visit me. And I was um, really, uh, I, shocked wasn't the word. I was really, um, it was interesting because of all the churches I had visited in the neighborhood, nobody had e taken the time to say, hey, how are you doing? Can I come and visit you? And Lucille took the time to come and visited me at my home. I enjoy being a member of this church because you are my family. You're the only part of the family that I got left. My family has gone on to be with the Lord. This is my family, and without you, I don't have a family. That makes it very special to me. Are you ready for the next question? Yes. yes. What might our congregation gain by inviting friends to visit us? I think one of the things I notice that you get when you invite friends is a different point of view. And the more, you, more often you do that, the easier it becomes to learn new things and to be ready for new experiences. It gives you a great opportunity for growth. And it makes people a little friendlier. The more people you see, the more interesting it makes it to, for the rest of us that are there. We are learning some wonderful things from all the different groups that we're bringing in. The younger ones, the energy that they have, they've taught me that I'm not that old, that I can do those things. And that's a good thing to know when you're a new grandma. Are you ready for the next question? Do you really want new people in your congregation? Yeah, but I don't know. I mean, maybe not everybody feels that way. I mean, I know I feel that way. I mean, I love to see new faces at church, but, you know, I don't know. Maybe some people don't. What well, should we do? A lot of people don't like change either, you know, and change sometimes comes into having new people come in. They don't know how to accept them or approach them. Seem reasonable to have new people in the congregation. I'm an old stick in the mud. I 
like things to remain the way they were, but she's changed my thinking considerably on, uh, on that. Are we ready to invite a friend? I'll give it my best shot. I'm thinking of someone right now that I would like to invite, and I've been wanting to invite her, and you know, now that I think about it, this, this really makes it, you know, I, I really am positive I want to do it now. So I'm glad. I'm a little bit hesitant about this, because I sometimes feel as though I'm infringing on their beliefs. Maybe you can invite them and say, well, you know, we can have breakfast before, maybe we can go to lunch after church. You know, something like that makes it seem, you know, not, you know, maybe not, takes the, you know, the pressure more, off you, it makes it a little social. easier. Well, it looks like enough of you are really excited about inviting friends. So, I just need one volunteer, maybe you, Pat, to bring this project, invite a friend, to our session. And if the session approves it, then all we have to do is set a date and get the congregation excited about it and do it. Why don't we close with a word of prayer? Loving God, we thank you for this time. Nancy, hi. Okay. I thought about you the other day. Our church is having an Invite a Friend Sunday, and I'd really like you to join us. Well, you know, Pat, I haven't been to church in a long time. I've been disillusioned with different churches. Tell me a little bit about what is going to happen in your church. We're having new people come to our church each Sunday, and it's really exciting. If you've been going there, I would like to also attend to see what it's like. One of the things that I think you'd really be interested in, and it's a woman support group, and it's really great. We meet twice a month. Um, we are intergenerational, um, and we have programs that we could do. Sometimes we just meet and have fun. Sometimes we do crafts. Sometimes we go to the movies. But it's women celebrating womanhood. So it is this Sunday? It's this Sunday. Okay, then I'll be there. Okay. A warm welcome to everyone who's here, especially those who were invited for us to celebrate Invite a Friend Sunday. We have today tested how successful and effective Invite a Friend is as an outreach to congregations, mosques, all kinds of faiths. Because today is supposed to be Low Sunday. What I'm talking about is attendance. The Sunday after Easter is usually the lowest Sunday in the entire Christian year. We have more people here today than we had last Sunday. Thanks be to God. I'm going to then ask, all of you that invited friends to please, or family, okay? Most of us are friends with our family, aren't we? Okay. All of us that invited friends or family, please stand. Those of you that invited friends or family, please stand. That's right. Now, Everyone that was invited, please stand. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Shouldn't we have Invite a Friend Sunday again? Yes. Amen. 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 Amen.
with love and joy and peace. May the God of justice speed us on our way, bringing light and hope to every land and race. Pray, let us work for peace, singing, share our joy with God, working for a world that's new, faithful when we hear Christ call. Come on in, Grandpa. Well, Katie, today's the day. Uh, could we wait till next week? But we agreed. That... I know, but next week my hair will look better. Oh. Next week I won't have this cough. <coughs> when you invite someone to church or synagogue, you probably figure they'll be reluctant. But you'll both be pleasantly surprised. Grandpa, the service was great. Well, let's come again sometime. Like next week? <laughs> oh, yeah. Invite someone to your house of worship this week. Brought to you by Religion in American Life. Daryl, I really don't think this is a good idea. Well, Carla, you were the one who invited me. No, I don't mean us going to church. I mean you wearing that disguise. Disguise? Come on, Daryl. The hat, the dark glasses, that phony goatee. When you think about inviting a friend to your house of worship, you probably figure they'll be a little hesitant. Well, I just don't want anyone to recognize me. And the more you worry about it, the worse you imagine it will be. I'm just glad you didn't wear a wig. But in the end, you'll both be surprised at how rewarding the experience can be. Carla, that service was beautiful. I really enjoyed it. Well, good. Let's do this again soon. Oh, Pastor, I'd like you to meet my friend, Daryl. Hi. I'm so pleased you could be with us, Daryl. But uh, weren't you wearing a goatee when you came in? If religion enriches your life, share the wealth. This week, invite a friend to your house of worship. Brought to you by Religion in American Life. Norma, Norma, let go of the sofa. It's time to go now. Oh, Carola, I am having second thoughts. Now we discuss this, Norma, so just let go of the curtains. Oh. When you think of inviting a friend to church or synagogue, you probably imagine meeting some resistance. Norma, let go of the emergency brake. No, no, really, Carol, I, I, I think I changed my mind. Please, the steering wheel, hun. The more you worry about it, the more you imagine how difficult it will be. Please, Norma, let go of the door. Oh, I, I just can't go through with it. But it's probably just your imagination, and your friend will actually thank you in the end. Carol, the service was wonderful. I feel so good, I, I almost hate to leave. Well, maybe we'll come back next week. Come on, Norma, let go of the pew. If religion enriches your life, share the wealth. This week, invite a friend. A service of the Advertising Council and Religion in American Life. Bueno, Dora, nos veremos pronto. Hola, Carmen. Qué gusto verte. Oye, Carmen, esta es la tercera persona que te saluda. ¿Cuál es tu secreto? Ningún secreto. Juan invitó a Felicia, Felicia invitó a Dora, y Dora me invitó a mí. Oye, Laura, ¿y por qué no vienes conmigo? No sé. Yo no estoy segura de qué es para mí. Si usted le pide a un amigo a que le acompañe a su centro de oración, probablemente le responda, bueno, no sé. Quizás esta persona no sabe lo que se ha estado perdiendo. Aproveche esta oportunidad e invítelo. Se lo agradecerá. Hola, Laura. Oye, Laura, llevan dos personas que te saludan. ¿Cuál es tu secreto? Si la fe religiosa ha enriquecido su vida, comparta esa riqueza. Esta semana, invite a un amigo a su centro de oración. Un servicio público de Religion in American Life. His body is his temple. This weekend, give his soul a workout. Invite a friend to your house of worship. Posters can complement some of their messages. His body is his temple. This weekend, give his soul a workout. 
invite a friend to your house of worship. Ah, what a day. I've been chewed up, spit out, stepped on, kicked, and hung out to dry in the rain. And that was just before breakfast. Man, do I need a serious workout. Body and soul. I'm talking head to toe here, you know what I'm saying? I think I'll start with my toes. Yeah, I'll do a little toe curl action. And those toe lifts. I'll do about a hundred. I'm gonna have the strongest toes on earth. I'll be leaving toe prints all over the place. I'll work my ankles, my calves, I'll get my quads working, my buttocks. Nah, that's already perfect. But my abs, now they're gonna burn. I'm gonna do 300 crunches, five sets. And for my arms, we'll do curls and lifts. And for my chest, presses and those flies. His body is his temple. And for my heart, we're talking 20, 25, maybe 30 miles on the bike. And for my soul, and for my soul, for my soul. This weekend, give his soul a workout. Invite a friend to your house of worship. And for my ears, headphones. The best. A message from Religion in American Life. She thinks eating is a religious experience. Now show her your idea of a Sunday. Invite a friend to your house of worship any day of the week. Ooh, what a day. Child, I feel like I've been to hell and back. I'm not even sure I made it back. Boy, do I need my ice cream tonight. It is definitely a whole pint night, maybe even two. And I'm not just going to eat it. Oh, no. I'm going to roll around in it. Let's see. Chocolate chip. No. Chunky cherry nirvana. Yeah, nirvana. That's where I want to be, when no one can drive me nuts. Nuts. There's an idea. All kinds of nuts in a sea of hot fudge and whipped cream. Yeah, baby. To whip away those blues. Bye-bye, blues. Hello, sprinkles. Mmm, mmm. Now that's an ice cream sundae. Honey, no one can touch me now. I'm in heaven. She thinks eating is a religious experience. Oh, why'd I eat all that? Now, show her your idea of a sundae, the kind that'll really make her feel better. This weekend, invite a friend to your house of worship. A message from Religion in American Life.